Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased to see so many of my friends among you this evening. And um, I would like to begin this evening, first of all, by thanking Embry-Riddle University for hosting this event. Uh, this is the first uh, in a series of four lectures on innovation. And I think of the four, it will be the, most, the one of most general interest. Because tonight I'm going to give you an overview, as I see it at least, of the whole process of innovation from the moment of uh, the first idea to the realization of the innovator's goals. Um, This is so big I can't see it. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I want to think along with you for a moment about innovation. It really drives the evolution of all man-made creations. Our social institutions, our music, technology, medicine, law, anything you can think of that is created in the minds of man uh, is, is a product of countless millennia of innovations built one upon the other uh, to eventually arrive at where we are today and we're in a great transition even today. So it's, uh, it's a, a wonderful thing to do and a wonderful thing to think about. To give you an idea of the appreciation, a little bit of appreciation for the simplest things in our lives, I, I've taken as an example a paper clip. I uh, can't imagine anything much simpler than that. It's a bent steel wire uh, piece that holds uh, sheets of paper together. 9,000 years of innovation go into the building of this paper clip. And uh, it's, there are many, many uh, countless innovations, but all of them made by people just like you and me. Uh, who have, as individuals, come up with different ideas, new ways to do things. Here's uh, an idea of what went into this simple paper clip. Uh, first of all, it's made of metal. And the working of metal was first uh, begun about 9,000 years ago, 7,000 BC. Uh, copper exists uh, in a nugget form in our, in our uh, earth and people found those, probably some of them melted in a fire, and people started beating on them with stones and, and uh, hammers, uh, wooden hammers, <laughs> and uh, formed them into different devices. Copper smelting uh, first occurred about 4,000 BC, 3,000 years later. Smelting is the reduction, or the extraction of metal from the native ore. It was uh, not until more than a thousand years after that when metallurgy advanced enough for bronze. Uh, bronze is an alloy of, uh, of uh, copper and tin, and it was found out that by alloying two soft metals together, it's possible to get a harder metal, uh, one that would hold an edge, that you could make a sword and chop up your enemies. Um, so that. That was the beginning of the Bronze Age, which we often hear about in our history. Now, much later than that, almost another thousand years after that, iron working began. And much after that, steel began. Now, keep in mind, even back when copper smelting first took place, it wasn't just the finding of the copper and how to work it. It's inventing a furnace that would heat it up to 1900 degrees Fahrenheit and inventing all the tools that went along with it to be able to work that copper. Finally, uh, paper clips aren't much good without paper. And paper was invented by the Han, in the Han Dynasty at uh, 105 years AD. There was finally a method to draw steel into wire about a thousand years ago. And for over a thousand years, after the discovery of paper, people held their papers together with ribbons and pins and, and various other methods. And I still remember some of them uh, in the archives of libraries, finding sheaves of paper tied up neatly, particularly in Italy, uh, with ribbons. Finally, at uh, about uh, uh, 
1899, the paperclip as 